Hello, this is Librarian Liz with the Belgrade Library, here to talk about January's Adult Craft or New No Sew Fabric Landscapes. This craft was a tie-in with our One Book Belgrade Choice of the Year, Ridgeline by Michael Punk. This was designed and put together by Pat of the Bozeman Art Museum. I'm very excited for this kit, I think it's very unique. Um, also, we would love it if you could send pictures of your finished product to our email at bcl at belgradelibrary.org so we could share it. This video will be more of an introduction and overview than a full walkthrough since I wanted to reserve all possible kits for patrons. Here's a few examples for us to look at before we go through the contents of the kit. I thought it would be helpful to see what the end goal is sort of like before getting started yourselves to give you some idea. This one here with the silo resembles what your finished kit could look like. You can see that it's layers of fabric to create this landscape with a felt backing. On this one and my second example, there are some additional stitching to create texture and detail. Uh, this isn't included with the kit, but if you have any embroidery floss laying around, you can add it to your piece for extra dimension. This one here was also added to another piece of fabric to uh, sort of frame it out. My final example, which will be more like the size of your finished project, has been framed by a regular 5x7 picture frame mat, as you can see. You can finish framing it, um, or you can even put it back in the bag that the kit came in, take the whole thing to the post office, um, and send it to the mail if you wanted to. Okay, let's move on to the contents of your kit here. Um, it comes with instructions, a piece of felt, and fabric with adhesive backing on it. Um, so just follow along with the instruction. This includes determining the direction of your landscape. This one might be horizontal. Then adding your sky fabric landscape, um, cutting it and pressing it into place by removing the adhesive backing. And then adding mountains and hills on top of that. Um, and then adding the rolling hills and fields, which are the strips that you can cut up even further. Um, and then finally adding little details such as structures or hay bales. To finish it up, uh, you would set it with an iron set on cotton and steam. Um, you can trim it up and glue it to a card um, or attach it to card stock um, or even get the picture frame mat as shown earlier um, and then you're done. Thank you to Pat of the Bozeman Art Museum for designing this project and putting it together and thank you to the Peggy Novotny Memorial Fund for funding our adult craft renews this year.